Hey, Nick Smith with JBNA. Okay, look, I've been searching far and wide for the perfect PTZ controller to go with all these great cameras that are out there right now. And guess what? I found it. I found what I think is perfection when it comes to PTZ camera control. So let's have a look at it. First off, it's called Hive and it's from our friends at PTZ Optics. Let's dive into it and show you what makes it so great. All right, so here is Hive, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, something completely new, I think, um, in terms of what's available in the market. So Hive is a web-based control um, interface for cameras. Now notice I said cameras. Now, one of the things I said early on, it needs to be able to support NDI. It needs to be able to support multiple camera vendors. It needs to have a good web UI, and it needs to have good functionality in terms of the buttons and knobs and everything else, right? And Hive knocks all those things out of the park. So let's talk about what it's doing and how it's pulling it off. First off, Hive is running on my server back there. It is both a cloud-based and a local-based application. If I want to make it cloud, there is a button I can flip up here that's going to transfer control up into a cloud domain where then I can invite other users in to control my cameras remotely. Hold on, I'm going to let you fish on that one for a second. Yeah, remote production control of your PTZ cameras. That is amazing. You can't do that with any other controller on market. Well, you know, I mean, obviously with NDI, with NDI Bridge, but you don't get this, right? So I have access to multiple cameras at once. I've got four cameras showing up here in the interface, four cameras that I can control. I can jump between control of all four of them. Now let's talk about how to get a camera in the system. So if I do the add here, we can see it gives me some options of uh, the types of NDI or RTSP control with OnVIF. We can see all those here. We can see the ones I've already added into the system. If I wanna add more, I can certainly do that. Uh, and you can notice that it's also showcasing NDI sources. So the local node is picking up my NDI sources, and I have the option of sharing those as well. Now that's a very unique conversation because it might be possible that my far side camera controller or my remote camera controller maybe needs to see a program feed or the TriCaster UI or something of that nature. So now we've got that ability to share that out as well. Once we select a camera though, I'm just gonna do a random one, then we can get some data on that. And if I go a little bit deeper, I've got the ability here as well to choose the brand. Now here's the part I want you to see the most. Look how many fan manufacturers, the folks at PTZ Optics have already embedded into this platform. And pretty much everybody is here. So you now have a platform that can natively control almost every camera on the market. Now I say almost, even though there is right there at the bottom of the screen, other brand, right? And if we choose that, then obviously we can go a little deeper as to what type of control it is and how we might be using it. But this is one interface now to control whatever cameras you might have sitting in your environment, right? Let's say you're a school and you've got different cameras all over the building. You got one interface to control them all. Um, this is very Lord of the Rings stuff here, kids. Here's another thing, right? I talked about the remote capability. That is pretty amazing because I can send a link here. Let's just see what this looks like. I can invite somebody in, guest or otherwise. All I need is an email address. Not only that, I can choose what kind of role and I can add an expiration. Might be that I want my Uncle Bob to run my next show. Well, I can invite Bob in, but I can also choose the time when Bob is no longer accessible to my cameras, right? And so we've got lots of control in that way. We've got the multi viewer here or the single viewer. So let's let's talk about the control side. I'm actually gonna grab the PTC camera because this is more exciting to look at with the PTC camera. Now, we've got something as simple as just rolling your mouse so I can zoom in and zoom out, right? Not, not that terribly exciting, but if I grab the mouse, we can see I can kind of pace around the room. Let's look at another option here. And this is where I think things get really interesting because what Hive is opening up is the next generation of control for users that have grown up on these, right? They're used to pinch and zoom. They're used to controlling touch screens, not so much running a traditional joystick. So let's jump over to this mode here. I kind of dig this one because you know, when you think about moving a joystick to move a camera, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm visually deciding where it's going to go by the looking through the lens. But with this, I can actually point to where I want it to go. I can guide it around and decide kind of the speed and the direction it's going to head. Right. So I get lots of control in that way. Let's go one deeper. 
there is this mode here, which is sort of the, I call it point and click, right? So I can roll my mouse up and down to decide how big of a frame, frame that in and then go snap and away it goes. It's gonna drive right in uh, to that location. Now, in addition to that, there is a mode here called Cineframe. I really like Cineframe. So let's go wide on this camera so we can talk about what Cineframe does. If you think about most presets, they are when you hit the preset, it zips right into that preset. This is not that case, right? So here I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in. I'm gonna choose my location and it's going to ever so gently move into position, right? To that spot that I want. Uh, and it's just gonna very gently. So these are moves you can do while live on air um, and you don't have to stress your uh, camera, uh, your you know, TD uh, out by uh, trying to do, you know, crazy camera moves in the middle of a show uh, from that front. It's gonna be very clean, very smooth. Uh, let's go a little further. Click to center. This one's kinda, you know, right where I want it to be, right where I want it to be. So it's gonna put the reticle in the center of the shot. So again, I get very, very granular control of exactly where I want the camera to be. I want it here, boom, it's gonna be there. Now, of course, you notice that was a very snappy move. Now we're gonna to go to Cine Center and the moves are gonna be much smoother. Right, you can see that, there we go. And now if I change my reticle, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up because not only do I want to uh, zoom in on uh, Daredevil here, I'm gonna do it very calmly, very slowly and very cleanly. This is really a big departure in how we control cameras. And as I said, I think this is for the next generation. This is the kids who have uh, are gonna be the next camera operators, but have been operating on a cell phone, on a tablet um, through most of their life. And so it's a very different way of managing systems, but I can bring in a multitude of cameras. I can control those cameras remotely. I control them locally on a web UI using any web enabled device. It doesn't get more exciting than that. So with that, I say, I have now officially found what I think is the best PTZ camera controller. And it's called Hive. And it's from PTZ Optics. Now, go check it out yourself.